Archer. Buongiorno amici, ciao a tutti. Sono BC and this is Minecraft. Well, I'm still here in the uh, the igloo and I'm about to head out. I've made a couple little improvements here and there, really just with our chest organization and that's about it. Did some mining down below under the ground uh, to pull out some stone because as I was leaving I was wanting to go ahead and start uh, uh, building a a rail line out of this place in the nether and then you know what I thought oh snap shot that's right I've been waiting for a long time I've been holding off I've been patient until this time until I started making YouTube videos I've been always playing in snapshots and uh, just every time one came out I'd load it up and deal with the consequences and this time I was thinking to myself you know what I just I want to just kind of make sure things are constant, but I have uh, I have it I have a good feeling that the current snapshot is a pretty stable one. The minecart stuff's been fixed, and I thought, you know, what better way than to journey back and give ourselves the opportunity to pick up all those rare or those not rare, but the new uh, stone ores and uh, just anything else that uh, that comes along. So. That's what I did. 14W21 Bravo. 21B. And, uh, yeah. So instead of being uh, boring and going through the nether, we're going to take the trip back. And we're going to make sure that we don't follow a, a direct diagonal back to 00 because we've already been through all that area. So I'm going to slightly get off course and uh, work my way back to 00. Hopefully generating a bunch of new terrain and a bunch of new goodies that we can collect up on our way. Uh, I'm probably going to go underground and do mining every single night. And I'll tell you what, if anything interesting happens, I will bring you all in at those little points in time. Otherwise, see you back at spawn. Ciao, ciao. Alright, so we're coming into a desert here. And already I've seen something that has given me the indication that we are now doing new stuff. And that's this. A cave in the desert. This is one of the new features in the newest snapshots that uh, caves can now generate in the surface of uh, deserts, which was something that couldn't happen before. And coincidentally, we also have some of the new ores down here inside. So it's now getting dark, and uh, I'm going to go ahead and just take refuge. I'm going to use the, the the night time to go ahead and. Uh, gather up, you know, materials underground. Um, I guess a little bit UHC-ish if, if you want to refer to it that way. But I just don't want to surface travel it uh, at night uh, just for the for the fact that, you know, it gives me something useful to do and, and collecting uh, stuff underground. So, so yeah. Cool. Desert, desert cave and new stuff. You know, just something I'm noticing now. I've only seen this ore on uh, on YouTube, I've never gone into a snapshot and checked it out, but I like the the uh, the brownish greenish uh, tints in it. I always thought it looked a lot more um, like silvery gray, but uh, I like the brownish greenish colors in it too. That's definitely cool and uh, opens up some sweet possibilities. And uh, yeah, I think I could take four of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah and make this polished rock but uh, we'll mess with that a little bit later so just wanted to share that uh, observation that I made and uh, I'm just gonna keep uh, working my way down this cave I hear some baddies maybe we'll get lucky and find some good stuff oh, oh man these caves look really sweet oh ta-da see if there's anything good down here Um, show me some... That's different. Mushrooms in the desert. I don't think I've ever seen mushrooms in the desert. Where's your blacksmith? You're a leather worker. 
cleric. So these are all the new villagers. Nice. Hey, guy. 40. Man. Well, that's wild. So I don't see any... Uh, I don't see any blacksmith here. Hey, guy. Hey. Fisherman, you want string? Hmm, interesting. What are you guys doing? How'd you get on that fence, guy? Oh. Pork chops. Alright, well. I'll see you guys around. Okay? Alright. Sounds good. Ciao, ciao. Ciao. Look at that! He's harvesting wheat and planting. He was taking care of all the carrots. Let's make some more wheat for him. There's some carrots. Get the carrots. I want to see you work. Go do some work. Or dance. <laughs> oh, he knows. He did it. Yeah, plant him. Get the wheat. Nice. There's carrots. That is so cool. Very cool. Very, very cool. Have a good one. As a, oh, a sense snap. For how to handle things. He actually hasn't been doing too well in UHC recently, oh. though. Um, Let me turn that off. <laughs> oh, cool beans. I just saw a creeper around here, too. And I hear a skeleton. So this is a change. I don't know how long, I can't remember how long it's been like this, but uh, not using wool and, and using clay instead of wool. That's new. I always thought they should use wooden pressure plates, so that way, like these blocks that go flying, have the uh, have the chance to set off the trap. I think that would be uh, that'd be scary time. What do we got? Okay, okay. Let's see. What do we leave behind? Bone meal. We leave behind bone meal. We've got iron here. Let's leave the cobblestone. Okay. Um, leave some sandstone. Pressure plate. And uh, while, while we're at it, let's go ahead and make some torches. Give me something good. Okay. Well, that's okay. That's all right. Let's go ahead and clean this goodness out down here and keep moving on our way. Swamp biome. Now with 80% more mushrooms for your pleasure. Good gracious. Look at this. There's even mushrooms in the trees. Wow, that's it's, uh, <laughs> like the super extra chunky swamp. Well, they say mushrooms are good for your prostate, so this is the place to be healthy. And just beyond the swampland, we have this 
mighty little village. Ooh, and it looks like the zombies are moving in. Right in the outskirts of a desert. Hmm. Very cool. Let's go save the day. Oh, you don't see me. Blacksmith. Yes. Give us something good. Give us something good. Yeah! That's what I'm talking about. And... Let's donate a bottle to the chest. Sweet. It's a good little haul. And we got horses. That would definitely make our journey a little nicer because I happen to have a saddle. Mm-hmm. Let's wait till the sun rises and we'll pick out a horse. Aw, oh, you love me. Have a saddle. Sweet! Nice! Eh, your hearts aren't so great. How about you jump? Oh, snap! You are a jumper! Holy cow, guy! Oh, you're pretty, too. You are pretty. Have some armor. Now you're super pretty. So it looks like I've found a creeper sanctuary. I've already killed about four out here in this little uh, area here. Go away, guy. But uh, look at that. Time to go for the kill. Yeah. So I'm passing through this uh, extreme hills area. I'm up on top of the mountain. I've just put uh, the horse over in a little cage over there because he was dancing around and doing a, doing some kind of craziness right here on the edge like he wanted to jump off. But uh, anywho, this area is pretty sweet. I'm really digging it a lot. And I'm thinking this may just very well be where we come back to do the next base build. I really like this area. I've always been fond of extreme hills. Um, and I think this might be the place. And I'm on top of the tallest mountain that's actually up in the clouds. But, uh, whoa, whoa. yeah, this, this area is really, really cool. So, definitely uh, take the cords right there. And I think this is, uh, I think this is where we're going to come back. And I think this right here may just very well be what we need to help guide us into the future. More to follow. Ciao, ciao. Come here, guy. I need your ender pearl. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. I might take a dip into the nether because I need a blaze rod and uh, if I had a if I had a uh, ender chest that would be really helpful right now. Um, so, I'm down here in the extreme hills, I kind of ducked into the caves uh, during the night, but uh, looking around, there are no new ores here, which is a little disappointing because I really don't want to build my base in some place that uh, doesn't have the new ores. So it appears perhaps this area has already been discovered, or at least the region uh, was already um, entered into once upon a time. So. 
I don't know. We'll see. But uh, perhaps this is not the place. This is not the region you're looking for. So I'm just sitting here doing a little bit of house cleaning, and uh, I came across this uh, zombie spawner through this cave system, and there was actually no chest here whatsoever. This chest I put there myself just to help me with, with the house cleaning. But uh, as I usually do in most of uh, my gameplay, when I find a spawner, I usually dig straight to the surface. And believe it or not, this chute actually ends up within like five blocks of that center pillar that I was talking about that was quite interesting uh, and uh, may be the, the very basis of our next project. But again, I'm still unsure because there are no new minerals in this area, but you know, it wouldn't be too far to uh, travel to, to get that new stuff. So I'm just going to keep doing some house cleaning and journey on. So check this out. Almost a stack of gold I've found in this little area here. Uh, and no diamonds. These these we got from uh, earlier, but no diamonds. I found a bunch of lapis, but almost a stack of gold. And I don't know if they've changed something. Oh, and also quite a few emeralds. But I don't know if they've changed something in the Extreme Hills. I think we're Extreme Hills plus M. And, uh, but gosh, I'll find like, like gold, gold gold I mean like just pockets of gold everywhere um, so not complaining definitely gonna be great I uh, need to make some golden apples as uh, my health is sucking so let's just make apple number one make sure we separate those num 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 all right So before I take off from this area, I wanted to explore the fact that I can hear some lava bubbling. And I dug down right in here, straight through here, and look at that. Pow pow! Terrific. Not a total loss. Very happy about that. So I'm just coming from the surface. And I uh, went up to grab this bucket of water, and I want to attempt something that I've never done before. And that is to make a portal without mining the, uh, without mining the obsidian. And, uh, and I want to, again, I want to try and dip into the nether real quick and see if, uh, see if we can find ourselves a blaze rod and, or, and so I can make a blaze powder, so I can make an ender chest. Um, which I guess, yeah, so I've got obsidian on me here. Uh, but uh, I want to save this obsidian, and I want to save these diamonds. And uh, so I'm going to test my luck here to see if I can't make a portal uh, without, without using um, the... Uh, Oh my gosh, without using the, um, uh, <laughs> without having to mine the obsidian. Ah, can't speak. Words and things. Okay. So, so first I want to build this, uh, this structure here. And, uh, this is the basic outline of where we want to have our portal. And then I just simply throw some, uh, throw some lava into the mix. And I'm just going to keep repeating this. So... Yeah, let's build a portal. That's a BC first. I've never done it before. So 
Fantastic. Very cool. Cha cha! Achievement get. And we ended up right on the edge of somewhere. There's a great abyss in front of me. Hopefully, looking to find another, another fortress. If we got super lucky and there's one around somewhere, that would be amazing. Huge luck! Oh gosh, so much lag. There is a ridiculous amount of fog, and I know my render distance is cranked. All right, I'm going to do a little glory in the area here. Really? All right, I'm going to do a little exploring in the area here and be back with you when we find something. So in our quest to find an, another fortress, I've actually ended up venturing all the way back to basically nether spawn. Here's my uh, ladder, and right over here is the portals to the ship. Uh, so, so yeah, we're gonna go ahead and go into the uh, Skelly Spawner area and grab a blaze rod from there and make a quick ender chest, and then we still have to go back to where we were because, uh, as you can see, whoop. My inventory is empty because I left everything out there. I left all the gold that we had found, and I left the golden apples, and I left the all the precious stones that we've collected. Holy! So many sounds. Whoa. So I left all that stuff out there uh, simply because, you know, we were in a dangerous spot in Nether, and I didn't want to uh, totally eat it and... Uh, and donate all those, um, gosh, look at all this gunpowder. I didn't want to donate all that junk to the, um, to the fiery abyss below. So let's go ahead and, oh, <gasps> we even left our ender pearls out there. So yeah, we gotta go back. But while I'm here, I'm gonna grab this regeneration out of this guy. And, uh, yeah. So, I'm gonna head back through the nether back to our uh, place in the extreme hills and I'll meet you when I get out there we've made it back to our portal and without incident thank goodness wait a second wait wait what? Uh, what? What? Where are we? Uh, okay, obviously we're still in extreme hills, so that's good. Um, okay, I think that's the big mountain right there that we first were up and in the clouds. Let's see. How do, where are we here? I think our horse is right down there. Yeah! Oh my gosh, look! There's the huge tower. So, we made a portal there, which took us to a portal in the nether, which going back through it put us over here. I wonder if something happened to our portal in the nether. That's really strange. It doesn't make any sense. I don't know why the game would generate a new portal like that um, without something happening to the origin portal. Very strange. Yeah, our horse is right down there. Okay. We'll get him eventually. Let's make our way back and see if anything happened to that portal. And welcome back! And here's the portal. Huh. Crazy. You know, understand it. 
But I do understand one thing. That our mission is now a success for making Ender Chest, which is good. Which means I can grab... Hmm, which one should we do? You know what? Let's go ahead and take the Treasure Hunter. And let's go get these guys that spark this whole journey. Alright, an hour long delay to get 13 diamonds out of 4 ores. Not bad at all. That's pre pretty good, if you ask me. <clears throat> All right, well, moving right along, we're going to go ahead and continue. I don't know what's up with this portal. I'm going to go back up on that hill and break that other one. And uh, we'll try and sync them up or whatever. It doesn't matter. Anyway, uh, and then I'm going to keep on heading back to zero, 00 on the overland. I'm not going to go back into the nether. And uh, as always, I'll bring you back if I see anything cool. But for now, ciao, ciao. So I just spent the night cave it in here and picking out some more uh, some more of the new minerals and I come out to find the entire world on fire out here I'm in the middle of a, uh, a roofed forest and like the whole thing is ablaze there's a small lava pool over here and this fire tick is just going out of control I'm sure if I just stood here long enough this whole place would be cleared out it's amazing the end of the world as I know it. Absolute devastation. Man, this whole roof forest is gone and still going. That's crazy. Uh, I had to take a moment just to sit and capture that. That was, uh, was pretty brilliant. Um, just how remarkable that was. Just kept burning. And I wonder if, uh, if I was to stay here, really how far would it go? I'll bet it would be pretty, pretty significant. But, uh, it's time to move on. And I'm hurting pretty bad. I got steamrolled by a spider creeper combo. And uh and yeah, and, and then I also took some suffocation damage riding on the horse, so let's see here. I think if I jump off. Alright, so I I made that extra eye of ender. And as a last ditch effort, we are going to make a we're going to make an ender chest, another ender chest, out here in the middle of nowhere. Because I believe I have some apples sitting in there. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Awesome. Ugh. I do not want to die. 39 levels on the bar. Only a thousand blocks to go. Hey, don't go too far. You know, I've made it all this way. Uh, it would be such a shame to get jacked now. All right. Some more. Anyway, so we're really close to the end. Just got a few more blocks to go that direction over there. And then uh, we'll have uh, made it back home. Ah, Just working my way through the cave system here and... 
came across this little gem poking out and uh, so far no no new minerals uh, down in this area no surprise because we are pretty uh, pretty close to spawn I think we're gonna probably be somewhere near the uh, the ship we're getting close to the ship so we're probably in that same region but uh, oh snap goodies right off the bat uh, bread and butter it's all good let's keep searching Should be getting close, and yeah, can see the uh, the big name tag of the rare rare item shop off there in the distance, which is great. I've actually been taking advantage of the fact that this horse has some ups, and just been running across the tops of forests. This guy is a jumper, and we made it. We made it back to spawn. Fantastico. Very, very good. And uh, let me get over here to the actual spawn platform, and uh, we'll check out our goods. Give an idea of the overall worth of that trip. Man, this dude's got some jumps. All right, so let's put this guy down so we can get a totally accurate representation. So in the inventory, we have three columns of granite, three columns of diorite, Three columns of andesite. Found an enchanted book. 24 gold here. Um, bunch of lapis. Looking in here, another 45 gold. So, over a stack of gold ore plus these ingots. And a bunch more of the, uh, the minerals in there. All these diamonds and these emeralds. Quite a good little journey. All thanks to the, uh, the update. And one thing I was thinking of as I was coming back, we haven't done, is another cool block. Pow! Slime blocks. Haven't messed with those yet. Let's see. Slime blocks. Boing. Nope, no boings. There we go. Boing, 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 boing. Boing, 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 boing. Very cool. Oh, the future. Fun, fun, fun. So yeah, good little haul. We made it back in one piece. We got 39 levels. Probably going to take some of these diamonds and uh, make a new pick because uh, if you noticed the um, our efficiency 5 unbreaking 3 pick died. I was uh, I was working away at one point during our travels and uh, just wasn't paying attention to durability and just wasted it. So hopefully we'll get lucky and put some books together and uh, and be able to fix that. So anywho, uh, that's that's all I got for today. Um, so anyway, thanks for joining me on this journey back. I hope you had a good time. I know I did. And until next time. I'm going to go ahead and sign out, and uh, I'll see you again when we start work on the golf course. Ciao, ciao for now.